This video will uh, de demonstrate to use uh, APE align uh, genomic uh, DNA sequences with uh, mRNA sequences, and this alignment can, then can be used to find out the, the structure of the genomic DNA and like uh, how many exons and how many introns can be located. And we will then uh, try to do some uh, exercise to find out which which ATG uh, is the appropriate ATG for the starting signing or translation. Okay, so the question uh, is, so we give you a gene called HPGDS. The question asks you how many exons are in this genomic DNA. Uh, so we can use first, uh, uh, you we can use APE to open up the genomic DNA sequences, HPGDS genomic DNA, and we can also open up the mRNA sequences, and then we just align the two sequences. So align two sequences. Uh, going to let the top to be genomic DNA, the bottom is the mRNA. Uh, I can also try to adjusting the window. So I'm going to adjust the window to 100 uh, line. And let's just use the default. You can actually try to adjust this, uh, uh, but let's just use the default. Okay, I hope it's running. It looks it's running. Okay, so here's the alignment. So, well, genomic DNA is 1 to 52,000 something. Uh, mRNA is from 1 to uh, 1615. The total match is 1615. Uh, so there, mRNA uh, is matched to the G, uh, genomic D, uh, DNA. There are also many gaps there, yeah. Many gaps, 50,000 gaps. So. There's no mismatch there. We can scroll down the window to see. Oh, there we see a match. Uh, remember the mRNA is about 16,000, and this match here is, well, uh, about uh, 20,000, uh, 2,000, oh, uh, yeah, 2,000 in the genomic region. And this is the first one in uh, mRNA sequences all the way to about 77, 8, 9, 10, or well, about 80 something. So we have 80 some base pair matching in the in the first uh, five prime end uh, in the five prime end region of the mRNA to the genomic. So this is probably the five prime UTR. So on the mRNA part. So five prime untranslated region. So that should be the first exon. And then we scroll down, we see, hopefully from the other, oh, here is another exon. This is the second exon. This one a bit longer than the first one. It's two. Hopefully. Okay, I'm not going to count for you. I'm sure you can count yourself. And you, how many exons can count? Well, then you can. Once the you have the number of exons, you can find out the intron. The intron, uh the region untrans, uh, transcribed region between exons. So uh, if you have two exons, you should just have one intron. So the intron should be always one number uh, smaller uh, than the number of exons. Okay, so then, yeah, so how many intron, uh, introns, how many exons we can find out. So basically counting them. So, okay, then we answer the next few uh, question you can do next week question or well, you basically have to do some reading on your own or Google find out what's the conserved the uh, nucleotide at five prime and three prime end of intron in the eukaryotic cells.
And then this is uh, the last question is an interesting question. In the MR sequences, uh, we see many ATGs, uh, but what's which one is the actual ATG? The uh, <coughs> the gene will actually use to <coughs> for the first signing. So we go back to the mRNA. So how do we how do we uh, uh, approach this question? So we basically first found out that the possible ATG open reading frame. There, that's first open reading frame. Hopefully, uh, ATG to this is the first one at the seventy six. Uh, I'm going to adjust the window. Okay, so. Uh, 80, 90, 91, 92, uh, well, uh, not sure, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, well, if you are not sure, you can highlight, oh, no, let me do it again, uh, if you are not sure, you can highlight this, uh, Start out here. Start at ninety two and end at six ninety one. So we uh, copy this and new file and paste this. So I'm gonna save this. Say this is ATG ninety two. Okay. Uh, is there ATG before this? You can try. Uh, Make, put the, the mouse over here. Let's try again. Find next. Okay, it looks like that's the first ATG. Let's search again ATG. Okay, it looks like the first one is here. ATG. Okay, if we look next one. Oh, there's another ATG here. There's another ATG. There's ATG. There's quite a lot of ATG. So, well, let's try again. That's the first one. Find next. Okay, that's our uh, next ATG. And uh, again, copy, new. And this ATG, where does this one start? Start 122. ATG 122 sequences. So, which one is more? Uh, well, which one actually do you think this gene will use to translate uh, the protein? Now, which which ATG is actually the first ATG? Uh, well, that's the the most uh, uh, reliable proof is really by measure the protein sequence using experiment, but and we can but we can uh, also in this case. We not we are not going to do experiments, so we are just found some uh, information in GenBank or NCBR database to support evidence. So all we need to do is to find out uh, which uh, M the open reading friend. So for different ADG going to correspond to different uh, open reading friend. Which open reading friend is actually supported or at, at least agreed upon by the expert at the NCBI database. So, well, the way to do is let's first translate this uh, each open reading frame and then do a blast to see which they actually align with the record in the NCBI database from the first amino acid to the last amino acid. So, okay, so I'm going to translate the, the eight ATG start at 92, this one gave me 199 amino acid. Then let's translate the uh, ATG start at 122. Uh, well, this one gave me 189. So which one do you think uh, the NCBR database would use? I'm not sure. Uh, let's go, b go back to the NCBI BLAST. So how do we find out NCBI blast? You can blast TP. Uh, this is for protein blast. So okay. Oh, that's the first one doesn't seem to work. The second one. Okay. So and then we just copy paste the the protein sequences into it. And 
make sure you uh, to save a running time you can choose homo saping as long as you type into it homo saping so yeah, it's going to pop up the rest of it uh, I'm not sure why the Arab adoption is always there so remove that and then you if you want to uh, save the result every time make sure you click the show results in a new window and you click run and it will run so actually I have already run the ATG 92 and uh, ATG which one is this one anyhow so okay this ATG uh, which one is this oh I forgot to save a running title sorry well if you want to do a running title search uh, let's do this protein plus so I'm going to paste it this time I'm going to save it to uh, job title instead of 92 is 122 okay uh, show result and new blast okay so this is a job ATG 122 this is ATG 92 okay Hmm. Uh, let me see. They seem to be uh, at ATG. Yeah, there is. It is AT ninety two. There's no ATG ninety two. Let me see. Okay. Why the eighty two is not uh, aligned? This is weird. Maybe I'm. I, I need to rerun this. Anyhow, so I'm going to run the ATG. Uh, 92. Okay, I'm going to rerun it. It's 92. Make sure it is correct. Go to plus again. Remove everything. This time, this is ATG 92. Uh, new window again. Okay. No close the old one. Okay. ATG 192. Uh, you see there are two perfect hits. Those are a hundred percent hits. That the first one. Let's pick the first one. A hundred percent identical and MP. That's the good uh, reference. That's refc. So well, one twenty two is starts with the so query. Uh, that's the our input sequence. Subject. That's the database. So so our input is from first to one eighty nine, but is matched from eleven to one ninety nine. So. The subject is the NCBI uh, record, so that means the first ten amino acid is missing. So where? So when? Uh, so basically, ATG start at 122 is missing the first ten amino acid. Well, each amino acid is 90. Uh, it is three codon, so that's 30 base pair ahead of 122 is 92. So 92 should give me. A better alignment. I go back to 92. There, so it's 1, 2, 199. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's the previous wrong uh, mistake. But here, so in this case, we know the open reading frame with the ATG start at 92 in the mRNA sequences match 100% to the NCBI record. Now, this, uh, well, you can also read the NCBI record, see whether there are experimental evidence. This is indeed is the ATG, uh, actually used for uh, translation by the cell. I actually don't see it. Uh, this is it actually. Most likely, this is also a computational prediction. So unfortunately. That's the best evidence we have. So, and, and unfortunately, most of computational prediction tend to predict the longest open reading frame as the actual open reading frame. That's unf unfortunately the case. Uh, but at least in this case, we know this is also the case. Well, say it's verified by expert. Their record has been curated by NCBI. So at least some some people at NCBI also think this is reasonable. And there are some other, oh, maybe that's the experimental evidence. Let's look at that. Uh, aging code, homo that's a CDNA clone. 
Oh uh, well, CDN clone is also MRI. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, there are actually not many few uh, experimental data to measure the protein sequences directly. Most of the CDN and MRI sequence, but that's the state of art. Okay.